when doing a problem like this, what we want to do is we want to make sure we graph. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I told you how to graph, uh, or I, I mentioned that the best way that I'd like you to graph this is to use the slope intercept form. It's just going to be the easiest way for us to be able to find the intersection points. Now, however, if it's not in slope intersect form, then a lot of time Yago creates a problem for us. So remember, when graphing, we always want to write it in y equals mx plus b form. If you didn't write that down before for my first example, please make sure you write that down. Where you can always remember, this is where our, y, our graph crosses the y-intercept. And m is what we call our slope, which a lot of times we write as a fraction as our change in y over change of x or our rise over run. So the first thing we want to do is make sure both these equations are in that format. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write them both in that format. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at this and we're going to say, all right, how can we write this in those formats? Well, in the first problem, I have x minus 5 equals 5. Do I even have a y? x minus y, I'm sorry. I don't know why I wrote that. OK, I do have a y. Wrote the wrong equation. Sorry. So I have x minus y equals 5. How do you get the y by itself? There's the multiple different ways to do this. One way is you can just add the y to the other side. So you have x equals 5 plus y. Then how do you get the y by itself? Subtract 5. So now you have x minus 5 equals y. But we always like to write it as we read it from y over. So we write y equals x minus 5. Does everybody follow me with that? Okay. Then for this one to get our y by itself, I'm going to go a little different route. I'm going to keep the y there, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of everything else. So I'm going to have 2y equals 4 minus x. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when doing it this way, we don't want to, we always like to write the x in front of our other <coughs> constant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite these as 2y equals negative x plus 4. Now what I can do is I undo what's happening to the y, Mallory, is dividing by 2. Therefore, y equals, huh? I'm not even on my phone. All I did was look down for a second. Oh, I didn't say you're on your phone. I know, but you said Mallory. That's a negative 4. Well, that's a negative 4. Okay, so that's a negative 4. Oh, it is a negative 4. Okay, you're right. I didn't say you're on your phone. I was just saying I wanted you to look at this. That's all I was saying. I just wanted you to see this. I, hey, that's snapshots. That's all I saw. I just saw you looking down, so I just wanted to make sure you saw this. So y equals negative 1 half x minus 2. All right. So now, ladies and gentlemen, do you see how I've just created two equations that are in the y form? Right? I had to use them a little manipulation, Yago. But now what I've been able to do is create them into this form. And when you have them in this format, Okay, you guys can do a couple things. Y equals 1 over 1 x minus 5. And this one would be y equals negative 1 half x minus 2. Now I'm going to write them in this color coordination so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. Here, all right, so I go down to negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I'm going to make a nice blue dot. The blue dot tells me that's where I, the graph crosses the y-intercept. The red tells me to go up 1 to the right 1. Up to the right, up to the right. That's what we call our slope. So now I can connect those dots. All right, at that point, up one over one, up one over one, up one over one. Then you can follow negative uh, one half, negative two. So now I go down to negative two, and I make a nice big blue dot. Now this slope tells me to go down one to the right two. Down one to the right two. So when I connect that graph, What you guys notice is this point intersects, right? And that's what exactly what they look at. You can see the point intersects at the black dot. And where they intersect, that's our solution. 
Because remember, I'm not asking you to graph two lines. I'm asking you to solve by graphing. So the intersection where these two points meet are at the point solution is at 2, comma, uh, negative 3. Anybody have any questions on this, what I just did? No? no? Okay.